Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Illustrator. I am Tor and today we will be doing the PPC. Yes, that is right. It is the first second of Christmas. Wait, my calendar's up there. It's the 2nd of December. Yes! Finally into December on a little bit of a Christmas note. You can tell because I brought out the elf dress. Now the last time I wore this dress, catastrophes happened. <laughs> I broke down, other stuff. It was a whole thing. And I made like a whole video on it. So I will link that above because it was a whole thing. And I'm convinced that this dress is cursed. But, but, I'm trying to un bad juju it for <laughs> this year hopefully we will have a string of good luck with the dress so that is what i am hoping for so moving forward the ppc for this month was mistletoe and out of the three oh, to be honest i liked all three so i was just glad for one to be picked now you will have noticed that two were all level pegging so i did end up flipping a coin and going with the winner and the winner was mistletoe hence we are doing mistletoe now, a few things i know without research about mistletoe is <laughs> well it's the plant that is hung up above door frames and it's to get two people to kiss at christmas and it's very cute and romantic however it's not as cute and romantic as you think it is not a good idea to consume stay away from it and from what I've learned from it in general in consumption, it's very bad for you. Do not consume it. Stay away, basically. Okay, top tip. <laughs> I will also go ahead and Google a few other different things in case there's anything that I've missed or don't already know about the plant. I know that it's quite a light green. Like I'm filming this part before I've even created the artwork so I'm going off of what I already know so I already know it's got like a pale greenish it's slightly more to the gray stage of green kind of dusty but also kind of on the lighter side kind of got a bit of a yellow hue sometimes and the berries are stereotypically white so with that as first impressions in my mind you've got the very sweet and romantic or you've got the medicated can be very useful yet very dangerous so putting those two into a personality and then creating a character from that i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this without further ado i will get on face cam and we'll move to the sketching stage let's get into it So I took to uh, Google, like I said I was going to, and I had a little, whole bunch of stuff confirmed and also expanded on what I already knew, which was nice. So the list of things that were positive, uh, or sometimes creepy, were festive theme, which we knew, kissing plant, yes, which we knew, and which is associated with romantic. Some people think it's creepy, so there is that possibility depending on what way you're looking at it um it was apparently once used to ward off witches back in the day so yeah did not know that that was interesting they have white berries which we knew dusty greens but fresh look too which yeah again knew that which was nice to have that confirmed often tied upside down with a ribbed ribbon in a festive style which again was good to be confirmed so they went down as my positive bullet points. The two main big ones, okay, negative wise, was it's poisonous to pets, which I already knew it was bad for human consumption anyway. So if you guys are having mistletoe in the house and you have pets in the house, just be very aware of where you have it. And if they get to it, you will need to take them to a vet. It is considered poisonous. Take good care of your animals, okay guys? And the last negative is, it's, uh, let me try and pronounce this, it's parasitic, it's a parasitic organism that sucks nutrients from host plants. So basically, it's like a big leech and it latches itself to a tree or to a different host plants and it sucks the nutrients, it's goodness that that tree or bush has and it steals it for itself, eventually killing the tree. So 
Apparently, according to the land of Google, if you find mistletoe growing in your back garden, it is a good idea and advisable to chop the whole limb off of the tree. So if you have a tree with like four branches and one of them's been infected with mistletoe, then you need to chop it off. Yeah, kind of brutal. Like I hadn't even considered that as a possibility for mistletoe. It just doesn't seem like that kind of a plant, if you know what I mean. So yeah, the Google kind of just kept me on that weighing scale of unsurety from that list of things I'd found out. So I ended up separating them into a list of good and evil to try and work out what kind of character I wanted to make. Whether I wanted it to make it a cute character, whether I was getting a strong male or female vibe, or if I wanted to make it a, an evil character. Or some kind of combination, or if I even wanted to make it human-esque, maybe I wanted to make a creature or an alien or some kind of hybrid thing. I didn't know what I wanted to do at that stage. <laughs> I can still feel the confusion oozing off of my notes. I know that sounds really daft, but yeah. On the good side, I'd written cute, romantic, festive, jolly, decorative, and traditional. And the evil side was poison slash evil, twisted, protective, leech, vampire-esque, and steals life. Basically, I was getting this very mixed feeling, and I wasn't quite sure how to show that in a person it's quite difficult to show without drawing someone with two heads now i've drawn the pumpkin with two heads and i was just like i really don't want to do another one just yet it was only a few months ago so i wanted to keep it again different i'm trying to make sure that they're all very different but yet yeah, obviously done by me so it's kind of there is a style that goes to me and you can kind of tell what it is these days it's nice it's nice to have a style but yeah, I was still left with this conundrum, so I wanted to make sure that definitely this character had a festive theme. Whether that was in pattern or some kind of blaring Christmassy theme on the jumper or something. So, how I got to this teenager kind of... I went for a young person because I wanted to show complexity within a person and there is nothing more complex than a teenager been through it so many of you have been through it so many of you are going through it it's a whole world and it's hidden beneath the surface and that is exactly what i think is going on with the mistletoe i feel like it's shown to the world as this beautiful and romantic thing however there's stuff that is hidden and not necessarily known about it so there's stuff hidden below the surface and you can see where this is going she's basically very guarded giving a present over and she's just thinking that oh god get get the situation over with i just i don't want to be here this is so awkward but she's also trying to be really nice so you just don't know what's going on behind the scenes it's true in general life anyway you don't really know what's going on in someone's life outside of what they let you know kind of thing so i was just trying to show that through the way that she was stood i didn't want to do another face on thing kept the color palette nice and simplified in the mistletoe fashion as well just to keep that all nice and tied in please remember to give this video a nice big like if you liked it and hit the subscribe button to stay in the art loop next month's flower i'm not gonna give you guys a choice this time because there are some changes coming up that will be released very soon and I have chosen a camellia aka apple blossom so that will be beautiful thanks to my entry for this month Genzybot you did an amazing job with your mistletoe character I can't wait to see what you do next time because you have been my entry every single month since I began this thing you are my regular arty lass. Until next time, guys. Love you all. Bye.